incredible places wrestling has allowed me to go. Pittsburgh is still my home. I am a proud Pittsburgh native from Mount Lebanon and I still love the Steel City. Now Pitt fans, make some noise and let's get the Panthers a win. Hell the Pitt. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. Fiesta Bowl team and 2004 Fiesta Bowl team. The 79 Panthers, led by head coach Jackie Sherrill, stormed to 10 regular season victories to win a berth in the Fiesta Bowl, where they defeated hometown favorite Arizona 16-10. The Fiesta Bowl victory captain 11-1 season and clinched the top 10 national ranking. The 2004 head football team, which was led by head coach Paul Harris, capturing the first Big East championship in school history. The Panthers clinched the title following stirring November victories over West Virginia and South Florida to earn a birth championship in the series uh, championship birth. Pitt returned to the Fiesta Bowl for the first time in more than two decades. Both of these teams are among the best to ever play in Pitt. Join us in welcoming them back for their 20th and 45th anniversary. Join us as we celebrate on the best wide receiver in history of football, while we congratulate Larry on being inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame. In celebration, the first 7,000 fans of the game will receive Larry Fitzgerald bobbleheads, and a select few bobbleheads will be signed by Larry himself. Get your tickets today to Pitt vs. Syracuse at PittsburghPanthers.com slash tickets.
This special announcement. On January 18th, Pitt Men's Basketball and Pitt Athletics is going to honor a true legend in the city of Pittsburgh in Pitt Men's Basketball when we retire. Sam Clancy is number 15. Foundation of Pitt Men's Basketball. We can't wait to see your jersey hanging in the rafters. Sam, thank you, Coach Capel, and everybody looking forward to this Pitt Men's Basketball season once again. That season over here, November 4th at the peak, and you can purchase tickets. PittsburghPanthers.com slash tickets. Uh, Y'all know since I was a little kid, I always enjoy it. And during camp, they usually get us a tea, and it's always a great time. And their potato patch pies are top tier, the best fries in this One of my favorite places to go in Pittsburgh is uh, downtown Swigley. Uh, I just love, love the area. I love just going there and hanging out, grabbing a good bite to eat. A lot of nice people there, and so. Paul Washington, I like to go out there. I used to live there. I just think it's quite a place. I actually went to the zoo um, with Eli, uh, Clark, and CJ went to the zoo, uh, like in the summer. It was cool, you know, I didn't go to the zoo in a minute. I've been there since I was a kid. So, you know, it was cool going there. All right, fans, it is time for our Pittsburgh parking chair relay race presented by Power of Bowser. That's right, because of that great Pittsburgh tradition of reserving your parking spot with a chair, that's going to be the theme of our relay race today. So here's how this is going to work. We've got our two contestants, Noah and Cheat. They're going to have to take their chair down to the goal line, reserve that parking spot, come back, get their cars, and get to the end zone. Then finally bring their chairs back here to me. So, without further ado, Noah, Chiefs, get in position, get ready to go, and beat them Pittsburgh traffic. On your mark, get set, go! Neck and neck so far. Oh, a little slip from Noah. Chiefs, a couple steps ahead, he's pushing the car. Chiefs still with the slight lead. Chiefs bringing the chair back. And Chiefs has him by a step. Chiefs is our winner. Congratulations to Chiefs. He beat the Pittsburgh traffic today. And he is the winner of a fifth prize pack. Chiefs, congratulations. You beat that Pittsburgh traffic today. And that is your Pittsburgh parking chair relay race presented by Power of Nelson. How are you loving Pittsburgh right now? I love Pittsburgh. I like to say it's the Northeast Baton Rouge. Uh, it's pretty fun. You got a lot of a lot of good people, great culture, all the differences, the type of food. What really surprised you about the city? You know, when I first got here, just the amount of bridges in this city is, is pretty insane. What surprised you about the season so far? Uh, you know, the, the fan atmosphere has been awesome, and especially for that West Virginia game, you know, being a rivalry game. There was, there was a lot of people out there, you know, really, you know, helped us out in that fourth quarter when we needed that comeback. You know, coming from Louisiana, you know, big food state, you know, what, what are some of your favorite spots to eat around here? Um, I love eating at Pamela's. I get the, 
for Sawfresh to us. What's your, what about yours? What's your favorite place to eat at? It's been around a couple places, but the one place I always go back to is Serafino's around here. Some, some really good Italian food. You know, when I first got here, that was one of the first places, you know, people told me I needed to go try. And yeah, I've been going ever since. Hey, Eli, thanks for coming with me on the incline. Hope you enjoy the city. It's been a great trip. Love the city of Pittsburgh. Hail to Pitt. I would say that I have two favorite restaurants probably in Pittsburgh. Uh, the first one, GJ in uptown. Love sushi, it's a great sushi spot. Um, and the other one, Mambo Italian, Sweetly. Uh, that's just a great spot. I love going to. I love the oven pizza. I like going to Monterey Bay. I would say Kai Jin. It would be probably my, my favorite. Dianoyas in this trip. We love Monterey Bay up on Mount Washington. And uh, there's some great places in North Hills as well. My favorite Pittsburgh restaurant is Az. It's on the border of my hometown, Peters Township in Upper St. Clair. Shout out to Jerry. Uh, the best pizza and wing combo in Pittsburgh. And thank you for hosting us for all of our old high school football games. I still love going there today. Again. 
got 76 pounds off of it.
One first down and that's it. Count this the field goal to take the lead. Missed a 24 yarder from right there. Hold on to that ball, Desmond. Hold on to that ball. This is not going to make it easy. Oh god, they're going to throw it. Oh no. They got it, but short of the first down. Complete to Now there's no timeout, so they can take it down to about under, fifth, under a minute. Somebody's down. Goes the ESPN guy one last time. That's got to be the most fun job ever, just standing up there and just having that thing move around. Mason Sterling. Still on the field. I knew the end.
Vegas Herald Knight. Thank you for supporting the Panthers, and as always, hail to Pitt! Not your best light, night, Eli, but you got the job done.